Hello everyone. I welcome you all to Geeky Script. Today I am going to discuss about a very common issue that many of my students are facing that is error establishing your database connection. So you know I have made a video about how to install WordPress and there during installation of WordPress locally on your system many of you are facing this error message you know while installing WordPress. So in this video I am going to show you how you can easily resolve this issue and how you can successfully able to install WordPress and use that locally on your system. So now do watch the video till day and I can guarantee if you watch the video till day and you will be successfully able to resolve this issue. And if you still face any issues you can always comment me on comment sessions and also I am in Instagram now you can always ask me all of your doubts including screenshots and everything over there I am definitely going to help you. So let's get started. Now if you see what's happening is it is telling that it is having some error in establishing a database connection. So it is important to provide a correct database credentials. So what happens is this database name. So here you are forgetting to give a database name. So you must be having one database over here. So I have created a database called WordPress. So that exact same thing is what you need to provide over here. So this text what you are seeing over here this is not a text this is just a placeholder you need to type WordPress like I am typing right now alright so similarly you need to type now you can see this is a bit darker in color right so that means here I have a text written so many of the cases I have seen that students are just totally forgetting to write the name WordPress over here because they are seeing the placeholder name and they are considering that it is already written no. So you need to type it. Whatever name you are giving over here, the WordPress, that same thing is what you need to give. If you are giving WordPress 10 over here, then similarly here also you need to give that WordPress 10. Alright. So it need to be matched exactly whatever you are giving on database. That's the first point. Next point is your username and password. So again, what I have seen is students are doing is instead of giving the root as a username they are giving their own username so they are giving their sometimes their own name or giving some random name or sometimes they are leaving it blank completely so all these are reasons you need to provide root username so why root so i am going to show you that so you need to go to xamp and this xamp folder so on our c drive you will get xamp folder and within that you will see this php my admin so go inside that and here you'll see this config.inc.php file so if you open this file in a notepad and here if you see you can see under auth auth authentication type and info you can see all these different credentials right so here user if you see it is root and password is blank so it is just quote quote right so nothing is written inside this quotation so your password is blank and your user is root. So that same exact thing is what you need to provide over here. So this username you need to provide a root and similarly here also you need to provide password. If you want to give something else then you need to change it over here first. So you can provide your name or whatever you can provide your own password and that same thing is what you need to paste it over here. Alright that same username whatever you are giving on this file so that's the thing that I wanted to mention you so many of the students are you know without changing anything on this file they are just simply randomly giving their their own name and they are trying to establish database connection and they are getting that error all right so always give username as root if you are doing it locally on your system then you need to give it root and you need to give password blank or if you are installing it on some server and there you are getting some error maybe you are using some hosting uh, or cloudways or any other platform whichever you are using as a hosting provider that platform there if you are installing wordpress and you are getting that error so then you need to open this config.inc.php file all right and whatever user and password that is written over there so that same thing is what you need to give it over here i just wanted to mention you that all right next all other things you need to keep it default and now if you just simply click on submit you will get this all lights per key 
we are good to install WordPress. So if you go to this uh, htdocs folder, so htdocs folder, so remember we have pasted this WordPress folder and here you will see this WP config file generated. So this file will get only generated when you have this screen. All right. So if you are, if you are just simply going to this folder and trying to see, you you won't be able to see this WP config. You'll only see this WP config sample. So now you'll see this WP config file getting generated. So if you open this file, you will get all the details like DB user as a root and password as blank. So that similar config file getting generated once you have this screen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the back button and I'm going to delete this file and if I make any of the mistake like I'm uh, giving some random database name like WordPress 2 and if I click on submit you will get that error message cannot select database because that database name is WordPress but you are giving WordPress 2 which is incorrect so you need to correct that again if you are giving some random username like maybe if you are giving geeky and you are clicking on submit there is a conflict right because that database name was root here I have showed you in config.inc the database name is root so that same thing is what you need to provide if you are giving anything else then you will get that error so root and now again here if you see WordPress file we don't have WP config we only have WP config sample file right so now what I'm going to do is if I click on submit everything is correct now all right sparky so you can run the installation and now if you go to that folder you'll see that this WP config file is now generated right so if you open this file you will see notepad you'll see that all the details that I have provided this root password lo localhost accordingly to that they have generated this WP config file right and now you can easily click on this run the installation and our WordPress is going to be installed locally on our system all right so that's how you resolve this issue hope these videos are helping you I have also created geeky syntax channel so here also regularly I'm posting lot of coding related videos so do subscribe our Geeky Syntax channel along with Geeky Skip vlogging channel. And if you are having any questions, you can always ask me on Instagram. I'm always there to help you. So that's basically all about this video. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.